Hi, it's Molly from Sacred Fire Creative, and today I'm creating this video for my client, Brian Heater. His website is called Transforming Ourselves. And today we are doing just a video on how to add and edit blog posts. So let's get started. I'm going to go to, we're, we're in the back end of WordPress, so we're just logged in. And we're in our dashboard, and we're going to go to posts. So when I hover over posts, it shows me all these choices. I'm going to click all posts. And that would have the same effect if you just clicked posts. Now it's giving me this whole list of different posts. I did a little bit of work on this one, so I'm going to go back into it. Artisan Food Revolution. You see we have the title at the top here, and then we also have all of the content in this box. There are a couple of different tabs. So the text takes you to the code, actually, and then this is the visual editor. And that's generally where we want to be. So if I wanted to make something bold or do any of those effects, I can do them right here. One thing I can do is I can show you how to add links. I'm going to copy that. So say this link wasn't here and I wanted to add it in. Okay. So I'm going to click insert link. I'm going to paste that URL in there. And I'm going to actually click link options. And that's just because I want it to open in a new tab. And I'm going to click update. There. And it added my link. I'm going to check this one out. I'm going to click edit and then link options. And then I want to make sure that it's opening in that new tab. I'm going to click update. So we'll notice on the right hand side here we have two categories chosen. So those look good. And say I really want this to be a general health one. We can make one of them primary. Or if you change your mind you can just click the other one. So it's very easy to move around. I added a couple tags but I wanted to show you a method that I use to come up with different tags. So I can take all of the text in the article, copy it, and put it into a program called Word Counter. So I've done that, and it shows me how many words and characters, but over here is where it gets really interesting. So on the right hand side is where it shows me my keyword density, and it shows me one word at a time. So we use the word food 24 times in this article. And then two words at a time, we talked about make difference, conscious living, and then three words at a time. Buy fresh natural, artisan food revolution. So just based on that, I'm going to go back to the post. And I'm going to say, well, I really want Artisan Food Revolution to be a tag. So I'm going to add that in. And in fact, I want it to be the keyword. OK. So this program down here is called Yoast SEO. It's a search engine optimization plugin for WordPress that helps you get found on the search engines. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you. It gives you those suggestions if you really want this to be your keyword. You're going to want this color to turn green. The other thing you can do is, you know, there are a lot of articles here, so maybe you just want food to be your keyword. Or Conscious living. So you get the idea. You can change it around. 
I'm just going to go back to Artisan Food Revolution as my keyword because that's the title here. You can also change. You, this title is pretty good here. Let's leave that. But I would modify the description. So, Brian, you can go ahead and, and change that, maybe a couple sentences here. And as you type, the color is going to change in this bar from orange, well, from gray to orange to green. And generally, Yoast is going to help you get to that green. And then once you're done, you can just close that. So there are a couple nice things over here, too. And so if you look at the social button, you can change how it looks in Facebook for this post. And then also on Twitter. Um, the other thing you can do, you're, you can add a featured image. So say I want to add an image. And add that there. It's going to show up there. And then the other thing I want to do is make sure you press hide for this title box. It's um, for this particular theme. You want to do that. And then if I want to change the date that it was published, I can do it right here. And just click OK. And then when you're done all of your edits, you click update. Alright, so to view the post, let's go ahead and click here. You can also click at the top. There it is. So you have the date that it was posted, the author, your category. You have that image and then your content. Right there. So here's where the tags show up. People can share it or leave a comment. All right. So hopefully that was helpful so you can go ahead and back in and edit your articles. Um, I'm going to go back to posts. Let's see, I'm going to go back to the dashboard first. And I'm going to click on Posts. And I'm going to pick one that I haven't edited yet, just so you can see. So this one, let's do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what that, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here's this big empty space I was talking about. We want to go ahead and hide that. Maybe add a photo just for the post. And just check out the categories and maybe add some tags. So let's go ahead and edit this post so we can do that. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make sure that the link opens in a new tab. This one too. And I don't need to do it for this because this is just going to go to the same, the home page. And say I want to do simple living as a keyword. Here's where we want to hide that title box. And then over here, I can add some tags. 
And again, I can scroll back up. I can copy it into my word counter and see if they have suggestions. Simpler lifestyle. Slow down. Um, say I just want to call it slowing down. I can just add that here. And say I want it to be conscious living as my primary category. And I want to have an image right like that one. And you can upload files right here if you want a different image. I'm just going to choose this one, close it, and again, if you want to change the date, go ahead and do that here, and then click OK, and then hit Update. So let's go ahead and view that, how it turned out. All right. Nice. Okay, so now say we want to add a new post and not one that we already have. So there's a couple different ways. I'm going to go back to the dashboard just to show you. So I can either do posts, add new, or you can do a new post here. And then I'm going to type my title in here, all of my text. I'm going to add my keyword here, change my meta description, change my categories, tags, and my image on the right. Make sure this title box is not showing. And then I'm going to click publish. And then, so I'm not really going to save that because obviously we don't have any content in there. But I'm going to show you one other thing so that, say you want to change a whole bunch of articles at once, like this one, oh no, this one, this one, and... This one. Okay, so we can do bulk actions and edit and hit apply. And now you can add multiple tags. So say this is all about slowing down. Um, you can just click update right here and then it'll add tags to all of those. So this is just a quick and easy way to add when you want to you want to change multiple posts. Um, I'm going to cancel out of this. And then the other thing I can show you is we have in this particular um, theme we added a plugin where you can drag and drop the order of the posts. So say for example you really want um, this one to be at the top. You can just drag it up so it's you just click on it and then drag it. I'm not going to do it because it's going to affect where where things are displayed. So, um, but this is just if you want to, you know, rearrange everything, you can do that. So when I go back to the site,
and I click on articles. So the way that we have created this is, let's see. Okay. So the artisan food revolution is shown first. And so this is where you can change the order, just how I showed you. And then also, here's where the categories show up. Okay. All right. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.